Here we are talking about the Obama tax plan. So let's get right into it. What is the plan? It's a new tax that will be levied on financial institutions. The banks will pay 0.15% of a tax on all of their assets with deductions for cash and other high quality assets such as common stock, retained earnings, and their deposits. Who gets hit with the tax? Any financial institution that receives TARP money or government guarantees of their debt and has at least $50 billion in total assets gets taxed. That includes banks and brokerages, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, but also insurance companies and General Electric. Why are we taxing these guys specifically? It's the Willie Sutton theory. That is, when Willie Sutton was asked, why do you rob banks, Willie? He replied, that's where the money is. Who gets off the hook here? Well, Fannie and Freddie don't get taxed, even though they were right at the middle of the financial crisis, and neither do General Motors and Chrysler, even though they received a lot of TARP money. Why are they excused? It's the reverse Willie Sutton theory. They just don't have the money. So that's what the tax is and who it applies to. Now let's get into whether or not it's a good idea. What do we think about the new tax? Is it just another scam being pulled off by the government and the bankers on the taxpayers? Surprisingly, it's not all bad. There's some good aspects of it. So we'll go through the good, the bad, and the really ugly. Start with the good. The Tax is an attempt to tax risk at the banks. It rewards banks that have more capital, punishes banks that engage in risky activity and are thinly capitalized. That's a good idea and really brings us beyond the wreckage of capital reserve requirements and other bank supervision regulations that just proved to be completely ineffective during the crisis. So we have to applaud them for that. It also doesn't rely on the ratings agencies. This is great. We've had way too much reliance on the rating agencies, which just have shown that they're incompetent when it comes to really talking about risk. We need to tear them out root and branch from our, from our regulations. And if for once, we're finally getting a regulation that doesn't talk about high quality or highly rated assets. Instead, it is deposits, common stock, retained earnings. The other great thing is that it's not a tax on bank profits. The problem with a tax on bank profits is the bankers will just pay themselves more in bonuses, reducing their profits, allowing them to loot their own institutions and rely on taxpayers to bail them out in the end. Which brings us to the bad. The main problem, the biggest problem with this plan is that it doesn't do anything about too big to fail. Indeed, it might make that problem worse in a perverse way. We've already designated certain banks as tier one financial institutions. And that's read as basically giving them an implicit guarantee from the taxpayers that if they fail, we're gonna step in. This tax might also be viewed like that. If you pay the tax, you may be buying yourself the right to a future bailout. This isn't just an abstract deal, danger here. Constantly throughout the crisis, we were told that a bank bailout would make a decent return for taxpayers. This tax institutionalizes that promise. Future bailouts can be justified on the grounds that we'll have this nifty tax to make sure the taxpayers get paid back. Too big to fail once again. It's a disaster. The other problem is it rewards the oligopoly of big banks. It creates a massive barrier to entry for any brokerage that wants to step in and if they succeed in the market and get up to $50 billion in assets, it, they'll get hit by the tax. This means that small brokerages will never be able to compete with the likes of Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. We're guaranteeing the oligopoly remains in place. Now let's get to the really ugly. The Obama administration is pushing this with a populist rhetoric of punishing the banks for the financial crisis and for taking TARP money. You know what, that's a little bit like throwing a steak on the floor and beating the dog after it eats it. I don't actually think the dog will mind that much as long as it keeps getting the steak, and that's what we're doing. We're not taking away the steak, we're just issuing a beating. That's our view on the new Obama tax plan.
Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on You Ask, We Answer for the Business Insider.